hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is abiola and in today's tutorial we will be making this unique and lovely skirt i am sorry it took me this long to put out this tutorial this is because i am currently not in a stable location that allows me to edit and create new content at will but finally that is already sorted the quantity of fabric that you would need depends on the fullness of the gathers that you want and the length of your skirt if you want yours to be as long as mine just know that you will need a lot of fabric but if you don't want too much fullness and you don't want your skirt to be too long you can use anything between three yards four yards to make your skirt and top together but me i got six yards because of the length and the fullness of the gathers that i wanted okay so i used six yards though i still have leftover for the top and i know i will still have leftover after making my top but it's just going to be um really really minimal i hope you understand me okay the first step is to go ahead to mark out half inch seam allowance at the top of this paper that half inch seam allowance is what we are going to use to join the waist band okay i will proceed to label this line wl as in waist line after which i'll decide how wide i want my waistband to be i always like to use 1.5 inches okay so i'll place that 1.5 inches on this line before i take my other measurement okay now i'm going to proceed to mark out my hip point which is 10 inches i'll mark that again just to get a straight line and i'll proceed to connect the points after connecting the points i'll proceed to label that line hp as in hip point the next step is to proceed to mark out the length of the skirt which is 39 inches and after marking my 39 inches i'm going to be adding one inch seam allowance which simply implies that i marked 40 inches for my allowance i'm going to label this line sl as in skirt length and the other line al as in my allowance line the next step is to divide my waist circumference by 4 30 divided by 4 gives me 7.5 and i'm going to add one extra inch for same allowance i would not be adding any that to this skirt just personal preference the next step is to divide my hip circumference by 4 for 1 divided by 4 is 10.25 then i'll add one extra inch for same allowance then i'll proceed to connect the point with the straightest part of my curved ruler you can as well use a ruler to be honest now it is time to create the beautiful curved shape that we have at this part of the skirt and i would like to tell you that this figure is not static you can decide how you want yours to be you mustn't follow the figures i used okay this is just to guide you i went ahead to mark 6.5 inches at this point you can do six seven even eight you can even do five depending on what you want and the length of this part i went ahead to mark six inches but after making my skirt i was wishing i did four or even 4.5 because i realized my own recreation wasn't as deep as the inspiration so you can do 4 4.5 at this point if you want it as high as that one okay the next step is to proceed to connect the curve how you would want it to look like okay after connecting the curve i went ahead to decide how deep i wanted the curve at the side seam area to be and i chose 6.5 inches this also depends on what you want okay after marking 6.5 inches i went ahead to connect the point as shown or connect the curve as shown for a better fit i went ahead to come down from my waistline by half an inch and i connected that to the side seam this just helps to get rid of excess fabric at the stomach area okay or at the waist area so i just connected this to form a curve since our waist is you know not straight okay the next step i took which i later realized was not really necessary was giving this skirt an a-line shape please just go ahead to do your normal straight skirt do not bother about this thing i did because while i was flashing and spreading i was asking myself what was the importance of this a-line shape i did i was thinking if i gave this an a-line shape the gathers will have a very beautiful a-line shape but to be honest this is not really necessary just do your normal straight skirt but if you want to know what i marked at the down part of the a-line i marked 15 inches then connected from the hip to that point okay 
after that i proceeded to cut it out just as shown the next step is to create the curve that is found at the hem area from the hem i went up by 10 inches and i marked it from the side i went in by 8 inches and i also marked it then proceeded to connect just as shown the values are not static you can decide how you want your own curve to be but this is how i want mine to be and i went ahead to connect it just as shown i proceeded to cut it out after cutting out the next thing we need to do is to slash and spread okay in order to slash and spread i'm going to measure what i have on the hip line which is 11.25 since i wanted to slash and spread it into five equal parts i divided that 11.25 by 5 and it gave me 2.25 i went ahead to mark 2.25 okay five times just to equally divide it into five parts just like i said i labeled the point one two three four five i also went ahead to include arrows to show the direction of the slash and spread this will make things very easy and eliminate any form of confusion okay i went ahead to mark that 2.25 again on each point just to get a perfect straight line because we have to rule it to the hemline area okay so after marking it again i went in with my ruler to connect the point into a straight line to the hemline okay the next important step i took was to draw straight lines that will help me when i'm slashing and spreading to ensure that the papers are placed straight that is why i tend to step a very important step because when you're slashing and spreading on the fabric it will help you know that you're on the right track okay so after doing that the next step is to go ahead to cut this out i went ahead to redraw this curve at this point because i felt i didn't like the original curve that was there before then i went ahead to cut it out after cutting out the curved parts, I went ahead to cut out the slash and spread part as carefully as I can. After which, it's time to cut it on our fabric, okay? And the first thing I did was to cut out two fabrics and place them on fold, one for the front and one for the back. I went ahead to mark out my one inch zipper allowance on the one meant for the back. Note, these fabrics are placed on fold okay so um it's going to cut both the right side and the left side of the back okay so after marking my zipper allowance i went ahead to place the front part on it and this is also placed on fold before bringing my pattern paper and i placed it exactly on the front part and i pinned it down after which i went ahead to add my 0.5 inch seam allowance round the curved part and after adding that i went ahead to cut it out basically okay after cutting it out i went ahead to slash open the zipper area okay because you know it's not slashed open so i just slashed it open now the next step is to cut out that front part that 0.5 inch we went down by to get rid of smile lines please note ensure you cut out that 0.5 only on the front part just lift the front skirt pattern and cut it out so here is what i have when i was done here's the front part and it looks good now it is time to work on our gathers and i went ahead to measure the fabric i had on the table and it is three yards exactly three yards and that's exactly what i'll be using to cut out the front part of the skirt so after noting that i have three yards i went ahead to fold it into two after folding it into two i went ahead to place it properly on the table and i went ahead to measure what i have obviously i know that it's just half of three yards okay and that is about 54 inches just ensure to note what you have after you folded it in half like i said mine is 54 inches then i went ahead to rule out a starting line and a second line okay i'll just show you what i did right now so what i did was to note the starting line and the hip line and i ruled it all the way to the end noting the hip line and the starting line will ensure that all the papers are placed in a straight 
line. The next step is to divide exactly what you measured after folding your fabric into two. What I have is 54 inches like I said. Divide it by five since we are spreading five papers. Okay, so 54 divided by five gives me 10.8. That implies that I will be spreading each paper by 10.8. Okay, what I went ahead to mark is 10.8. And on that 10.8 line, I will place the next paper, okay, and pin it down. I will repeat the same step by measuring 10.8 again. I will note the point and place the third paper. Do not forget to pin to the end because the end of this skirt also needs to be straight because you know it's it's a curvy part and it has to be straight as well so that you can get the accurate curve when you are cutting out okay i would also be repeating the same steps for the fourth paper i'm going to mark 10.8 then place that as well then i'm going to also mark 10.8 and also place the last and the final paper okay now i am going to go ahead to connect the point into a really nice curve okay that's just what i'm doing i'm going to just try to get a really nice curve just use your free hand okay and when i get to this deep place i would also go in just as it went in and i'll connect to the end okay so that's it that's just it basically guys for the upper part for the lower part i would also go ahead to connect the curve and i'll connect from one point to the other point and i will form a really nice curve after connecting the points just like i have explained i'll proceed to cut out with my scissors at the top i'm going to try to add 0.5 inch seam allowance i also tried to be very careful when i got to the deep point okay after doing that i went ahead to cut out the down part as well for the down part of the skirt i already added one inch hemming allowance so i didn't really need to add a lot of allowance at this point okay so after doing that the next step is to try to cut out the back part of the skirt and i went ahead to fold three yards of fabric a little over three yards because of the zipper allowance okay so let's just say three yards and three inches okay that's what i went ahead to fold next i went ahead to mark 1.5 inches from beginning to the end okay and this is different from the one inch i marked at the top but you understand why okay after which i placed the front pattern that i already cut out on top of the back pattern just after the zipper allowance okay and i went ahead to pin it down now it's time to also mark our zipper allowance on this goddess area okay because the zipper allowance is going to extend to this point the first thing i did was to mark the same one inch i marked at the top for the zipper allowance so i marked one inch but on the hip line i marked 1.5 just to give extra space for the bomb bomb that means i added extra 0.5 to one inch then i went ahead to connect it just to give that bomb bomb shape so that the skirt rests properly on the bomb bomb okay remember our zipper allowance is still one inch the only thing i did was to add extra 0.5 to give a bomb bomb shape at that point next i came down by five inches from the hip line and i went ahead to mark one inch to the end okay because what we really need is just that one inch okay so i would mark out and connect all the points after which i'll proceed to cut out just as shown what you are doing is exactly tracing the front pattern on the back pattern okay the only difference is the zipper allowance now the next step is to proceed to form our gathers and there are different methods you can use please just use your most preferred method i like to use my needle and thread to form my gathers so after putting the thread in the needle i just try to measure round the cuff to ensure that i know the amount of thread that will be enough to form the gathers accurately so that the gathers are evenly distributed okay I also went ahead to do the same thing for the back part just to ensure that the thread on the needle is very very similar to the length of the curve okay so that whenever I just make the gathers everything will just fit okay so after doing that I went ahead to form my gathers what I did was just to form a running stitch you know just going up and down trying to make sure that if each stitch is even okay 
from beginning to the end in order to just form the gathers okay there's another method you can use which is going to your sewing machine to you know you put your sewing machine to the highest stitch that it has then run through the fabric twice and start gathering you can do that as well i always dread that method because um sometimes if the thread cuts you just have to start afresh so i decided to use this because i didn't have the time you know to spend but that gives the most even that as ever and i'm learning to love that method and be more patient with that method i am going to go ahead to take the midpoint of my skirt and the midpoint of this gathers then pin them together okay whilst forming your gathers ensure that the seam allowance area is not gathered your one inch seam allowance should not be gathered look at this there's no gathers at that point the other side too i left the one inch without gathers okay now i have gone ahead to attach the skirt to the gathers and here is what it looks like i also went ahead to attach the back part to the gathers as well and here is what it looks like the two of them okay the next step is to hold in the zipper allowance of the two of them and i went ahead to pin them together so that that point aligns properly okay this point i'm holding right now it has to align so i went ahead to make sure they align and i used my pins to hold them after which i went ahead to the sewing machine to stitch from beginning to the end with one inch then i went ahead to place the back part on the table right side facing up then i placed the front skirt on top of it um right side facing the right side which implies that is the wrong side that is facing up right now so i went ahead to pin them down i went ahead to hold my one inch side seam allowance okay the next step is to go ahead to attach your waistband i have a detailed video already where i explained how to attach this waistband female trouser cotton and sewing um video on my channel please do check that video out and in that video i took my time to explain the stitch in a ditch method of attaching waistband do well to refer to that video the last step i took was to fix my zipper after which i headed over to the market to weave the skirt i also did outer weaving for the hem part of the skirt so you can finish the hem of your skirt by weaving it or by using a bias tape to turn it around because this shape will be a bit difficult to hem thanks for watching guys bye